help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Many Biafrans were happy that a Biafran Prime Minister came across the video saying that the, the so-called Bubaka commander has been wreaking a whole lot of havoc that he needs a serious attention and what to what to what to, what to promise from, uh, from Biafra Liberation Army. So Biafra Prime Minister said breaking every information is needed on this killer, he must be stopped. He wanted uh, terrorists, they wanted terrorists, a bubago. Okay, so he has been declared wanted by our gallant men and Biafra Prime Minister because uh, with the comments of friends here shows that uh, this so-called bubago has been wreaking a whole lot of havoc, it has been killing, humiliating and uh, terrorizing some um, communities. So somebody said, let me read this also, somebody said my PM not only with a capture with a picture of uh, another Ibubago also, Ibubago member, Ibub why am I even calling them Ibubago, Ibubatro member that has been also killing uh, our people. Helping the flavors in Biafra and uh, carry out the the evil plan, their evil plan, and what the Fulanese told them to do. The person said, "My PM, not only that boy, this one here have killed more than that boy. This one, his name is a KK KK Ibubago Commander Uli, Anambra State, in here the local government area. Please, our people is dying every day in the hand of this this in the hand of this boy here. Okay, with a, he, with his picture." So not only the person declared wanted, there also there are other Ebuboke, there are other Ebuboke members wreaking havoc in Biafra land. All right, those Ebuboke camp uh, needs to be, they needs to feel the feel our buniwe so that they can all go for judgment because uh, Ebuba go before now. If not for Biafra Prime, uh, Biafra Prime Minister and Biafra Liberation Army, do you know that these people before now operate as they please in Biafra land, especially in state? Out of fear, they no longer come out as they normally do. They are now hiding, or should I say, many of them have been sent to judgment by Biafra Liberation Army because before, Asari de Kubo, many of them are Asari de Kubo boys, but uh, Eastern governors contracted uh, Asari de Kubo to give them his boys to form this Ebuboke that have been wreaking havoc. One of them declared wanted. Somebody that vowed to protect his people and defend our land. Choose to work for the oppressors, those that want him and his people to be enslaved forever. <laughs> Some of you are very funny, seriously. I don't even know how you think you can do all these things and go scot-free. Those uh, flavors uh, that call themselves uh, Eastern politicians don't care that you're working for, don't care about you. They only want you to, they only want to use you to accomplish their own mission. That is what they're doing. Once they are done with you, they toss you aside, you become irrelevant. Don't think you will do all these things and go scot free. Those using you don't care. They won't send you, they won't come to your rescue. So why work for those that want you to continue being a slave? Those that don't want you to see the light of the day? Those that want you to continue being backward? Those that don't want you to do anything meaningful with your life? Instead of fighting for your freedom? You choose to protect, Biafra, to protect our people and defend Biafra land. Because of greed, you want money. You choose to work for hopes of them, killing your own people. Those you vow to protect. <laughs> And you, it's obvious that many of you don't know the kind of course you're bringing upon yourself and your generation. You think it's only on you? No, it's on your generation because you choose to walk against your own people fighting for your freedom, not just for your freedom. Even your generation will be against you because you choose to remain a slave. You choose to remain a, a, a slave than to fight for your freedom. That is, they will be, ups, they will be very upset with any of you that, 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 that have decided to be saboteur in this very struggle. Those of you preparing to join the League of Saboteurs, those of you preparing to join Saboteurs in sabotaging what you are doing, know this and know peace. You're bringing a very heavy cause upon yourself and your generation. Know this. Many people have died for Biafra to be restored. Many people have laid down their lives for Biafra to be restored, but you choose to be a saboteur. You choose to be a traitor. You choose to be a, a, a betrayer of your own freedom, your children and your generation's freedom. And you think that you can do all these things and go scot-free. Other people want to be free. If you don't want to be free, then move aside. Do not sabotage what you are doing.
You chose to work for Hope Ozarema, killing your own people, killing your friends in Imo State, and you think you go scot free. Now you have been declared wanted. And it's very, I'm, I'm very sure that it will not take time for your friend, uh, Liberation Army gets you. Send the Kigaza, you choose, you choose to work for Hope Ozarema. Yeah, you receive the water, water. Hope Ozarema, did you even bother how to ask yourself, where is Hope Ozarema's children? Are they in Imo State? Are they, are they doing the, the work you're doing for their father? No. Their children are all abroad, studying in one of the best universities. They keep looting money. They are using you to do the, for, they're using you to accomplish their mission. Looting money that will last for their fourth, should I say, fourth generation. Let me just keep it there. But you are busy doing their dirty work. Why they keep looting, sending their children abroad? You are not, not ashamed of yourself. Others are fighting for their freedom. You choose to work against those fighting for their freedom. Your own freedom. Your children and generation's freedom. Because once Biafra come, you will not be jobless. Your children will not suffer. That is what you are fighting for. But you people choose to work against it. And I keep asking myself, what exactly is wrong with many of you that choose to be traitor and the supporter in this very struggle? I am a big color of your color problem. No, I actually have a tiny problem. No, 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 Nigeria at home. And everybody who knows that Nigeria is not good for any right thinking human being. We said, okay, the amalgamation has expired. It's time for us to exit this contraption. Instead of you people to concentrate and put hands together for us to exit that contraption, many of you choose to work against it. No, 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 you people are not sane. You people are insane. <laughs> well, we must continue. Let me read a few comments. Somebody said, so somebody said, I'm glad, dear friend, Prime Minister, you came across this uh, video. That idiot uh, deserves serious attention urgently. And that person said, no hiding place for people with crimes against their uh, humanity. And that person said, heaven knows that the perpetrators of this crime must face a uh, judgment of peer friends. And that person said, if you want to know what happened in the video, come on live broadcast to get to know another person said another person said no saboteur or betrayer must go unpunished he will soon be apprehended he can't join he can't join nigeria terrorist uh, government force to, keep, to be killing beer friends your people destroying their properties and you think that he will go free eye for an eye tooth for tooth no retreat no surrender until success is achieved another person said he is calling on the name of our deity that usually save that usually saves when one is in danger, but forget that joining a bubago to kill your people in the east is a devilish and uh, she will never save you when involved in such atrocities. <clears throat> Wangi saves when your hands are clean. She doesn't save one with a hand full hands full of blood. Alright. Another person said, this is good one. I'm so happy that Biafran Prime Minister came across this very video. This uh, Sabon TK must uh, receive water, water. Okay, Bia friends, I will stop here. There are a lot of comments of Bia friends, both those uh, ranting, both those uh, blabbing, and those uh, genuine Bia friends that really know that uh, this struggle, <laughs> no saboteur, will go scot-free. Once you're against what you are fighting for, we're not fighting anything. We're not fighting for anything bad. Rather, we are fighting for our freedom. We are agitating, struggling to liberate ourselves and to think that some flare fools among us choose to sabotage what we are doing. But it will never work for them. So we know our eyes are on the ball. We are fixed. We, our heads are up. We are not, we are not down at all. They would rather run from Biafra land because Woto Woto up and down we will give it to them back to back. We will not allow them to run on a minute or week. I'm telling you, yes, all those Ebu Bago boys, they should be on the run. All those Sabotas, they should be on the run. Men Bute Hata, Bute Heche, that is how it will be. They will never have peace in Biafra land because they don't want the indigenous people of Biafra to have peace. And they don't want us to progress. So we'll cut them short. And that is the news we have for you right now as we speak. Thank you and remain blessed.